Guess I'll go talk to Cosmo alone. It's skill couldn't be super fun the bow win the pariahs, what do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low-stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up and up. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine, I'm in. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See, the ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Make your choice, Captain. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See, my game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Uh, I better not. I'm not feeling very lucky right now. My team, my friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, but I can offer you a bit of destruction. We are hiring on the mining freaks if you're looking for work. Someone's gotta keep this place up and running. Got a job, thanks. Up the Milano, give the team a huge bonus. Are you ready to find the checkbox of a lifetime? How will I know if I win? You are encouraged to return to nowhere to verify your ticket. After verification and an excessive verification fee, the jackpot will be transferred to your account. I'll take one. Here you are. Nerdy Fortune smile on you. More than she smiled on me. Guess I'll be seeing you in a few rotations. With any luck, sir. With any luck. Good for you. Bad for me. Lottery tickets. Lottery tickets. Current jackpot. That's serious. Got a lot of parts here. Just about everything. <laughs> Mostly. Refurbished, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well. You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove a uh, Nova Core Disabler. 7 A12 series. 2G2, maybe? Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work, no matter what. <laughs> and you're sure this will remove the disabler? It'll do exactly what it's supposed to. That's great. Thanks. Place my 
I'm not falling for that. Not again, anyway. Greatest collection. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the Illustria Symporium. Private collection of Tanalir Tivan. The premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, would you like to take the tour? I'd love a tour. Oh, I have this. Think I get him for free, right? Oh my, you must be a very important person. Mr. Tivon does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. Commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir. What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objedar, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? It's just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Enjoy the wonders of the Emporium. No way! How'd they get that? Oh, cool! Dude, no way! Kinda neat. Interesting. I don't get it. Fancy. Hmm. That's not good. Fancy. I don't get it. Kind of neat. Huh, interesting. Cool. 
No way! How'd they get that? Dude, no way! Huh, interesting. Fancy! No way! How'd they get that? I don't get it. Kinda neat. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? You believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh... This is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom when the uh, Shatara came. She also died for no reason. They just shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Ultaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. And that 
failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. mom is, it's not out there, okay? She was a good person. How do you know? Because I just know, all right? If she's anywhere, it's in heaven. She doesn't just deserve to... stop being. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh. Yeah. Sure, man, no problem. Catch you back at the ship. Cosmos in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sister. Nowhere security. Super official. Go other way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Cosmo! Sure, 
Sure. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Peter, there's something out there. But I won't tell you what it is. Because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Who's there? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flarkin' Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! Well, that's so a heart attack. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stain Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys! Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heart nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of people have jackets. Well, you're the one the lady wanted, so hurry up and die! Wait, did Lady Ace want him alive? Did. <laughs> uh, Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H! Uh, the triple! Uh, I'll, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, wrong. Get crushed! Anybody think to bring refreshments? You gonna shut up already? Okay, okay, okay. 
Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Peter! Shoot now! We need to keep them separated! Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! This whole thing was a setup from the start! You two are just making me want to hit you hard! be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together.
<clears throat> I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> oh, shit. Thank <laughs> you. 